Hi, this is Johnny Farty Pants, and I'm going to be showing you a pretty basic but still quite interesting feature that's contained within all Windows operating systems. It's called Trace Route, and what it does is it helps you trace the route that your computer takes when it's trying to access a website or a server, uh, listing all the IP addresses that it that flows through. OK, here's how it works. First you need to go down to the Start button here in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Uh, if you're running Windows XP like I am, uh, you'll just click Run to move on to the next step. Uh, if it's Windows Vista or Windows 7 that you're using, you're going to have to type the word Run into the little search box that usually appears around here and then click Enter to get to the next stage. So I'll just click Run here. Uh, and then this box will appear, or something that looks very like it. In that box, you want to type in CMD, which is an abbreviation for Command Prompt, and then this box will appear. This is what's known as a Command Prompt screen. This is where you can write individual commands directly to Windows. What you want to do to use the trace route is type in cd backslash and then hit enter and then trace rt and then space uh, now the next piece of information that you can enter uh, it can be a website address just the www.whatever.com or .co.uk or, or whatever you don't have to type in the entire url uh, what I'm going to do is type in johnnyfartypants.com and the next time I hit enter uh, what this is going to do is it's going to actually trace a route from my computer to johnnyfartypants.com and it will list all the IP addresses of the, the various servers that the information will flow through so let's hit enter and see what happens here we go tracing route to www johnnyfartypants.com and that's the IP address there 66 96 133 uh, and number one uh, this is a, the starting point this is the IP address of my computer and it's just flown through all of these servers here some of them are a bit faster than others as you can see and the bottom line here number 20 as you can see it's arrived at johnnyfartypants.com so it started here it's flowed through this IP address here this one this one this one all of these all the way to its final destination uh, there's 20 lines of information here but one of them because the request timed out shouldn't be counted so 19 different servers it flowed through before it reached johnnyfartypants.com and that's basically it uh, that's how you use traceroute or trace rt as windows abbreviates it to uh, it's contained in all the modern versions of windows from at least windows 95 onwards and i hope you have fun tracing websites all over the place and thanks for watching my video